Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm your host, Corey Nockreiner. Today's big story is the White House Summit on Cybersecurity and Consumer Protection. At Stanford in Palo Alto, California, the White House uh, organized a big security summit where the security experts from many global companies, as well as the president himself, came to talk about how the government and how a private corporation can come together to improve cybersecurity. In fact, I just finished watching the president's uh, speech and he generally just talked about some of the issues with privacy and security we face with the digital age. And he really encourages uh, governments and private organizations to come together to solve these problems. In fact, at the end of the speech, he signed a new executive order to start sharing intelligence between the government and private organizations. On the surface, these kind of changes are good. You know, I really do want the government to get more involved in protecting its citizens from cybersecurity threats. On the other side, and even the president did acknowledge this, you know, many people are skeptical of governments using this type of power in cybersecurity intelligence to their advantage. In fact, the NSA leak seemed to suggest that they may have done this sort of thing in the past. So that's really where the rub is. While the idea of cyber intelligence sharing is a great thing, it's really hard to know whether the governments you're sharing this information with will really continue to use the information for good and not self selfish purposes. In any case, it's a very interesting summit. I recommend you check out the YouTube link if you're interested. And while it is US-centric, a lot of global organizations talked about some of the global ramifications of cybersecurity. So it's interesting to everyone around the world as well. That's it for Friday's story. Thanks for watching.